Howdy folks, I have something really cool to share with you today. This here is a digital kalimba from my friend, my YouTube friend Sheila, who has a channel called MIDI In and a company called Peacock Software. I will link both of those in the description below. But as you can see here, this is effectively a digital recreation of the kalimba. You might recognize this if you're a subscriber to the channel. This is the Ether, another one of Sheila's projects, and this is effectively a digital theremin. So um, she has some other projects too. So again, check out her channel if you're into this sort of thing. This is just a prototype. And so she's already told me that the production model will have more um, little tines here and it will have different controls here, but this one was kind of dummy together to be a prototype. So this is a prototype that I'm working with, so please keep that in mind. Let's start with the idea of a digital kalimba, right? So this is a kalimba, digital kalimba. So it's like, okay. But right away, I was like, this has a lot more possibilities, and this is a lot easier for a beginner for this simple reason. If you've ever played a kalimba like this, a hollow box kalimba, then you know that the center, the tines have a lot more resonant than they do resonance than they do out here at the edge. You also know that if you hit the time with the fleshy part of your finger, you get a different tone than if you hit it with your fingernail. And you also know that if you have an electric kalimba like this where it has a jack, and when you're playing, it's real easy to thunk the top of the kalimba here, and then that comes through on your recording. So you have to really learn some techniques. So despite the fact that the kalimba is a very simple instrument, it actually takes a while to get a good technique down. Now with this, you don't have that because it's digital. So instantly you've got good technique. Let's go ahead and plug this in and power it on. So as you can see here, it can be powered by a um, USB, what is it, micro USB port. So I happen to have a cable right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And you can see it says hello and the version. And then now we're into the actual menus. So real quick, the first one is MIDI program and then MIDI channel. And I'm not gonna talk too much about those. MIDI velocity, which we'll come back to later in the video. But the main ones I wanna focus on octave, mode or scale, and key. So right now we're in the fourth octave, key of G, major pentatonic. Now, one thing that I noticed right away is like I said, you don't have to worry about that pressure. And the next thing is, if you hold a note, you get some sustain where you don't get that in a regular kalimba. So real quick, let's show some of the functions. We're on major pentatonic. Um, we can start with minor pentatonic. Major pentatonic, of course, Locrian. Phrygian. Phrygian such a weird sounding scale. Aeolian. Dorian, one of my favorites. Mixolydian. Ionian. So again, one of the reasons this is cool with a traditional kalimba like this, you've got a chromatic scale, which yeah, that's great. This is way cooler because if you were jamming with some people and they were like, hey, we're in D sharp minor, you could select D sharp here. Then you could go up to your uh, scale here and select your minor. Because as long as you're in the key, you don't have any wrong notes. So it kind of reminds me of a steel tongue drum in that way, but it's much more flexible because I can change it. The octave setting is again what it sounds like. If we change that up or down, and we can go way down or even lower than that. Or we can get way up high too. Yes, you can make it like a kalimba like that, like this sound effect, but I realized that it works pretty good with any sort of plucked or hammered sound effect. So here's a glockenspiel. And here's a marimba. So here's something a little different. This is a synth pluck. Check that out. Okay, so let's go down an octave and try a different patch. Here's more of like a bell. Let's try a different scale. Let's do Phrygian on that. Oops, Phrygian on that. How 
cool is that? So again, you can do a lot more with this than with the traditional kalimba. But here's where my mind sort of diverged. I was thinking about it like that, but then I was like, you know what? It doesn't need to, because it's a MIDI controller, it doesn't need to just make pluck or mallet type sounds. It can make anything. So when have you heard a kalimba do that? So of course, when we think about a kalimba, we tend to think about things that have a very quick attack, right? But there's no reason you can't do something that has a little slower attack like a wind instrument. Check this out. This is a clarinet patch. This isn't really a kalimba or a kalimba simulator. It's a controller that's already tuned to a scale. So what I mean by that, if you had like an electronic music track, you know, like an EDM track you were working on or something, and it was in the key of A, you just come in here, oops, you just come in here and select A, and let's say it's uh, in A minor for argument's sake. So we'll go down here and we'll use a minor scale, okay? Then I can choose a synth lead and I can just play my lead on this. I don't even need to use the keyboard. And you could even do something absolutely crazy with an instrument you don't own. Like let's say you wanted to throw like something Eastern in there. Well, just pick an exotic, oops, sorry. Just uh, pick, let's say we're in, uh, let's say we're in A flat. And let's say we want, Let's see here, an exotic scale, like uh, we'll do Mixolydian. And then I wanted to add some sort of Eastern vibe. Check this out. Now, the one thing I didn't cover earlier was the velocity. And let me show you that real quick. So if we go down to velocity, it's currently set at 90. Now, velocity traditional, traditionally is what allows, you know, if you hit something softly or very hard, what allows it to respond? Well. This just doesn't have that capability because these sensors are not pressure sensitive. So it doesn't matter if I hit it soft or hard, it's still gonna make the same sound. But velocity is the way you control that. So if I want it to be a softer hit, I could come down here to like 40. See how much quieter that is? Even if I hit it hard, it's still quiet. Now, one other thing that I didn't mention, see, I've been using USB out here. It'll send MIDI over USB. It also uses the power. But in addition, if you have one of these little USB, or excuse me, MIDI dongles like this, it has a TRS MIDI as well. So you could do this and you can plug this into any MIDI instrument. All right, so of course, let's go ahead and test that out. Here is my Dave Smith MoFo plugged in via MIDI to the little kalimba here. Dropped it down to octave two. Let's see what happens. Woo! So what do I think that this is missing? Well, if you look at the ether here, one of our previous projects, you notice the ether has the same IO here, but it also has this little daughter board on the bottom and it has an audio out and a headphone out. So you can just plug in headphones here and you know plug this into a USB power bank and just be sitting, you know, anywhere and you know doing your stuff. Well, it would be nice if this had something similar. It'd be nice if it had a little audio out jack and then it just, it would only need like one sound load, like a kalimba sound, or maybe she puts another menu in here that says like sounds and there's like just two or three, like not a lot, don't make it complicated. Just so that you could just pick it up 
with nothing else and just play, you know, sit in the back seat of a car and play a kalimba effectively or, you know, sit outside on your porch or whatever. That would be a cool addition. It would be really neat if you could somehow add that velocity control, but I think that would probably make this cost prohibitive because you'd have to put a membrane over this to actually detect the velocity. But as far as for what this is, it is amazing. Again, this is a prototype. This is not the production one. Um, but I think Sheila really outdid herself here. And again, check out her channel because she has some really cool projects. The MIDI SID, if you're into Commodore 64s, the SID chips, you have to check out the MIDI SID. Okay, so there you have it. That was a quick overview of the digital kalimba. Again, this is a prototype and I don't have details as to when or if this will make it to production, but based on what I saw, I really liked it. So if you like what I do on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.